Hello everyone, this is Darkest Dungeon and we are back. We haven't played like anything off the camera. I'm just going to continue and try to survive this encounter. Maybe we'll clear things up back at the manor. Uh, we are really walking. Yep, we're walking. Alright, and we fall into a trap that we Mechanical could not hazards. see. Possessed by evil intent. It's not so great. This will give a bit of health for him as well. Not too much. We need to keep at least four because you can encounter different, uh, um, I guess, stages in the game or conf not conflicts, uh, actions that you're gonna have to resolve. And sometimes you eat for food and even more than that. So, you got to pay attention to different stuff. So, are we here? Yep, we're here. We need to go all this way. There we go. So, this was like an empty room. I'm not wrong. You can pass stuff you find on the ground. But uh, then again, oh, that's a lot of food and a bit of gold. So, okay, so uh, we're sitting sort of well, I suppose. This is uh, another type of food which I want to actually give. So we also have a space in our inventory. So you also need to manage the inventory. We don't have so many torches though, so that's not so nice. There we go, hunger. So eat for food and gain 5% health or it nothing and take 20% damage plus stress uh, damage. So we got a bit of um, I guess stress relieved, and also we we got a bit of heal. So what is going on? Is like nothing in these rooms anymore? They appear to be like empty. And I don't really know why. Yeah, keep the dark for now. Okay, so how do we resolve this? A crude jumble of stone and debris block the cleared obstacle by hand. It will no. We're gonna do it with the shovel. That's what we actually um, did wrong last time. We needed to click the shovel and click the hand. Yeah. And we have a whole manner of crap. Is this like the? F yeah, it's the last. Um, that's the last uh, of the, in the chambers. And they have to seem to have the first turn. Sometimes, if they surprise you, um, they can jumble you up and you can have your hero in the first row. That's not gonna be so pretty. We need to get these two like fast. Sort of wonder how. This is only AoE, but it's not that great. We can mark it. We'll increase the damage a bit and the accuracy and the crit on it. Yes, we could do that, but I wanna grind them down like f as fast as I can. Now, you know what? We're going to mark them. There, yeah, it also gives a bit of damage. That's good. I didn't really know that. A uh, bit of heal. I don't really think a heal would work so great right now. I think we can withstand a bit more. Could increase the torch. Or uh, judgment, maybe. But this is, uh, is going to be a self heal. Can we actually get. Oh, we can get like anyone. And he dodged it. But I think that we got the light, though. He can pretty much uh, get all of them, but I want this two to get, uh, there we go, get play. we got plagued on both of them, both of them. That's gonna help us uh, uh, pretty good. Stunning blow, we could use for the big guy, just hope to take uh, the rest of the damage, but he's going to be resistant further long, and I don't really know if that's going to work so well. Hmm. Could smite him, especially since he's like unholy and should have greater damage. There we go. Oh, nice! We dodged that one. Let's see how this goes. Uh, this could have went better, but it's pretty good. And he pushed him back. That's not so great, though. Okay, so now it's our turn. We already have plague on this too, so we don't really want this, anyways. Mm, noxious blast. We could use this. I guess for him or for him doesn't really matter. We'll go, we're gonna let's go. Up. Oh, we can't actually. This is for the first two spaces. Yeah, this is for the corpses for the most part, and this is for the first space. So, like it or not, we're gonna be need to actually uh, deal uh, with. Um, I guess we could go on him so he can die faster, and he got the blight. That's good. There we go. Uh, he spilled his drink in his eye and he gets a lot of stress. My god, it's gonna cost like a lot. I don't even know how we're actually going to pull this off. 
So right now, if we're going to shoot at him, we sh if he was marked, and I don't think he was actually, I think he resisted. And again, his life is two, he should die from the blight, so let's shoot at him. There we go, nice. He has three more damage, and he really shot the witch doctor. Mm, I think we may just escape this. I don't know if that's good, but let's throw on our Adam. Ah, there we go. It went pretty nice. He's like four health. Maybe the blight will kill him. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, heal the party right now. There it is. And he died. Nice. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, yeah. If uh, corpses die with blight on them or bleed, they disappear entirely. So you're not going to have. You're not going to have. Uh, corpses on the ground, you don't need to deal with them. Last time I kind of explained, they remain on the ground and they're sort of an obstacle, uh, so all the skills are position dependent, so the um, the, the the corpses themselves can the, um, be a quirk in your plans sometimes. Let's go stabby stabby and finish with this dude. Now nah, I think he's gonna die from the plague, so let's uh, stab this guy. Oh, nah. He resisted the plague, this one died. I'm expecting this will die as well. No, it's actually our turn. Uh, let's go with an AoE. Maybe we'll finish them both. There we go. We got both of them at once. And we have we some Citrain. Portrait, which is good. A bit of a gold. A That'll be about it. Let's continue a bit in the dungeon. I want to see what this one has, because we have keys, heirloom chest. You know what? Put a, put, we're going to put a key inside, because even if... Um, you don't uh, f have keys or, or you don't need to use them. If you use the key, uh, as it said on the, um, on the screen, a secret compartment will open. And as it is, we got maybe a bit more portraits than or busts than we would have. Now, uh, we could go back, but we're not sitting that well. We have a lot of stress. This was like a bad run for stress for us. We get this uh, one as well. Don't really know how you can actually scout ahead. I, maybe I don't have the skill, who knows. I'm gonna have to research that one. And let's go back to the manor right now. Come on, quest complete already. This is uh, uh, where you get the rewards. This is the money you're gonna get back from what you already have in inventory. So from supplies, basically. You don't take supplies uh, next round, you just need to rebuy them. A bit of busts, a bit of crests, and only one portrait. Not bad, but it could have went way much better. A bit of gold, that's actually good. Those two are level 1, they increased a bit, and these two actually have a new skill. Fortunately, is a bad one for this one, and a good and a bad one for this one. So, bad gambler, increased chance of losing money while gambling. Yeah, that's not so good, I suppose. Minus 1 speed, if um, hash uh, hit points below 50%. Not gonna be in the front line, but nevertheless, and two plus speed if torch below 26. Okay, so now let's return to the estate. I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers by a glimmer of hope. So basically, we're, you're going to need to. Um, so the abbey is open for us right now. And the tavern itself. Let's see if we have more heroes. There we go. We have room for all of them, and when you get them, you don't a pay anything. You just have a holy purpose. A zealous warrior. You can dismiss them pretty much any time, and you will uh, get to the point where you're going to need to change between characters just so you can continue. So he has a sort of nice uh, holy lance. Just some holy better damage, not too bad, I suppose. Not so much stun. He's in the front line, so that's not that good. And thick blood, blood resist. That's not so bad either. And this is uh, so. This what? This was the crusader. We already had one. These two other characters we don't, ha we did not have until now. He should be um, a leper. That's the, the claim, name of the class. He's curious, obsessed with the acquisition of knowledge. That's interesting. 
and 50% damage in read. So basically he may just run after books within dungeons. I don't know about his skills though. Intimidate and it's an AoE. Lower accuracy, lower damage. Okay, sort of interesting I guess. Withstand, stress heal, so this will heal the stress from the character. This will only attack the first place and knock back three spaces. A bit of damage and clears corpses. I guess it's interesting. And chop. And pretty m a bit more crit, I guess. Interesting. I don't really know how it's going to play out, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to use them because we have high stress and not so much money. We're gonna have to use to uh, actually uh, relieve some of them of the stress itself. Because if it gets to 100, it, there are two choices. Either he's going to go in, a, I don't know, a berserk state which is going to be really good and uh, help uh, with the dungeon itself or he could really go depressed, have a heart attack or something and die instantly. So he's going to go on death's door mode. So he doesn't like uh, cramped spaces, uh, severe fear of enclosed spaces. I think this is going to bite us in the ass. And 5% virtue chance. Okay, interesting, I must say. What does he have actually? Flashbang, a stun on all position, pretty nice. Shuffle single, basically someone's gonna get shuffled, I guess. An uppercut, which is a knockback two, and a stun, so two crowd control uh, uh, skills. This one, com hitcher, so you pull now. This is going to be for pulling the party. And collect bounty for the first two spaces, a lot of damage, especially versus human and versus marked. Sort of interesting, so you have a, a character which marks, this is really going to go well against marked uh, enemies. Okay, so, sort of interesting, I don't know what all of this does, I'm not gonna spend time on them. But claustrophobia in a dungeon, that doesn't sound that well, if you ask me. Now we have a bit of stuff, let's see who needs to go pray and who needs to go gamble. Let's see the tavern first. Fresh kegs, so, stress relief. And curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Mm -hmm. Heroes relieve stress by taking part in activities at the Tavern Abbey. Each activity has different side effects. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero depending on their uh, quirks. The quirks were the red and white ones that we usually read. Committing a hero to an activity looks uh, them in the activity utility in the next week. Huh? Ah, locks them in that activity until the next week. You'll have to take a different hero with you on your next uh, quest. So basically, if you are going to put them to relieve them of stress, they will have, they will have, they will remain here at your next, uh, I guess, quest, next dungeon run. We do have like all of this, we could use this to help out with the marking, so marking will have a better, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but then again, who should I take from all of this? They're really stressed out. I guess we could take him instead of him. Uh, they have for the most part the same skill set. That should go well. He on the other hand... Um, as a bit of crowd control, I guess. Actually, I'm buffing Intimidate, and it is uh, for the first two lower accuracy and lower damage, so this is pretty good, actually. Uh, but it's only a debuff. This is healing for stress. This is a melee only for the first, uh, and kills corpses as well. It knocks back. So it's kind of good, and the set that we have is not that bad if you are uh, keen to spend more uh, turns in a co in combat and this is going to be like chop and chop 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 give uh, some damage pretty good i really sort of like it. I, I can see the possibilities so we could get like this tree but we're gonna need a healer and he's not a healer and he would have went really good at this one now i didn't really look at his life how much life does he have like 35 and this one has 33 and he has 33 so basically we could use him the healer which I don't know how I'm gonna relieve that all, all that stress she may just go into a fit and lose her uh, that's what I'm actually afraid of I don't really know how to go about this hmm 
could use him for the marking so we could let him behind get this to the healer and the range they still have a way to go until uh, madness but who knows so you can drink gamble or brothel okay uh, this will increase the stress recovery increase the stress recovery and the same I guess we could do like all of them that's 6 and 12 we have enough to do all of them but I want to see Abby first as the well. The webs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. Okay, so you have um, cloister, place through meditation, higher power, or flagellation brings absolution. Thing is, uh, God fearing in town will only pray for stress relief. So he can relieve stress if he prays was sort of good, although he kind of died on us, but he doesn't have a really big unbuffs for now. He can steal items. This, um, as I'm told, this unbuff, you always have it. It's from the campaign, uh, basically. It will steal some items now and then from you. So, you only can put him to pray to get uh, stress relief in it. It's going to cost us a lot. Uh, pray. Okay, so... Who is he? The caretaker is currently enjoying its activity. Really? So I'm not gonna be able to set him here? Apparently I can't. God feeling in town will only pray for stress relief. That's kind of weird. And apparently I can't really put him anywhere. So what's actually stress relief? What's going on? This will not be accessible for now. Because this dude seems to be praying. <laughs> so I can't relieve the stress from this guy. Great. How about you? It's not allowed to gamble while in town. So if he can't gamble and he's a bad gambler. He's going to lose money if he gambles. Uh, how about him? Uh, wind it. Minus speed. And more uh, stress versus uh, beasts. Okay. And her just has like a shock. So we said we will take like the first two, and I guess uh, him and her. So we really need to stress, distress him out. Apparently, we're going to lose him. This doesn't really change. We're going to change him or for another character, which we're going to raise. Decision, decision, decision. And again, we're spending way too much time in town instead of combating. Okay, so whatever. Uh, we should. He was actually not that stressed out, if you ask me. I'll use the stress actually. 44 out of uh, 100 or 2. I guess we could make him gamble a bit. Or pray. I don't think he's actually faithful. Let's actually see if he can use the. Yeah, he can actually use. I don't really know what we should invest in. So this will be like a 12 with a 12. We have it. We really have it. Uh, what should we do? I guess we should go look, like this. However desperate for all of us. Never without worth. And over here, I'm gonna spend like everything right now. Uh, a bar sounds rather good. We still have. With or enough ale, maybe all they three of them. There we go. The really below. digged into our resources, but we still, but we at least have like the first level to everything. Can we? Can uh, so he only can pray. My God. And the other one was this. I guess we can put him at the bar. Pay the hundred, and whatever he can go and drink and stuff. As for the Abbey, apparently this dude, like, throws his soul or something, whatever. So we can't really use him to, to get the stress away. Okay, whatever. So let's continue. Anything else opened? Now we need to complete more stress. Uh, more, uh, <laughs> more quests, not stress. <laughs> uh, so I guess this will be about it. We need to fill this, uh, this place up more of a um, 
first two positions, ask me, while he should be uh, like the third position. There we go. Most of them are third position. So he can stay here, and we're gonna put the leper over here. He's pretty good uh, character overall, and uh, uh, the bounty hunter as well. It's kind of nice. He can really pull and uh, d redirect uh, um, enemies within the party, so you can uh, hack at the ones uh, in the back that you actually really want. Beast slaying ring, ring, uh, more damage against beasts, but uh, minus. Uh, dodge we're gonna get a few busts and we need to complete a hundred percent of the rooms okay I guess uh, let's go to the provisions already so this is what they bring for themselves I'm going to get two of these because there was enough last time two of these um, I'm gonna go with six of these although uh, we could do it more if you ask me and a lot of food. Ten food at least. We had a lot of luck through uh, actually twelve. Uh, because uh, na uh, last time we actually uh, really got from the, the dungeon itself. So let's embark and see how this goes. We may have problem because of the already stressed out players, but I guess we'll see. If we die, we die. Don't expect this game not to die, by the way. Some of your heroes will die. It actually says so in the tooltip in the cemetery. It will tell you that some of the heroes will die, but a lot of new souls are going to come for fame and glory. <laughs> so you can use those <laughs> and send them in the into the mouths of hell and demons and whatever spawns uh, are going to come this back. way. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Okay, so we're like here to see all the rooms so like it or not I'm gonna need to go this way simply I must note that is in within okay map is found scouting there we go wow this was like a big ass map like shows everything uh, how do you move this ah, this way so we're here right now Basically, we're here actually. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of things, but these are like extra encounters, and this will be the boss. Okay, whatever. We'll see how we do. Ah, big ass encounter, and we got scrambled because we were surprised. We're not that extraordinarily well seated. I mean, he's like useless over here. So, we're gonna need to move to a rose back. That's going to give us uh, some damage, but I, s I hope we'll survive. All the way back and s more stress. Yeah, this is going to turn out to be really, really, really bad. <laughs> okay, so we can chop or we can knock back, which I kind of want to do. Or stress heal, which is not really the time to do it. Or... We should intimidate this guy. For one, he's gonna take a bit of damage and a debuff. She's bleeding, of course she is. No blood left. Bandaging. Yeah, we can bandage and we should because it's really going to uh, uh, get our health back uh, down, not back. She's not in a position to actually use anything. So I'm just going to move her one row and we're a bit better I suppose sort of is really really back should move one forward uh, and that's not so good but at least it works out and now it's our turn okay so she can judgment smite and whatever this we have over here uh, we could try to stun because I kind of want to stun this guy there we go a bit of damage and a stun I kind of want to move him backwards, but we'll get there. We could do this, but it's only going to give uh, the, the, the damage to these two. Uh, we don't. Well, actually, we could use the mark on this one because he actually does. This, that was a buff. Oh my God, he really goes with that AOE of his. He's going to lose his turn. Oh, it's actually our turn. So we did intimidate him. Now I want to move him back if I can. 
Okay, let's use this on him. Let's see if actually... There we go, nice. Now, I don't think he will be able to do that much from back there. My god, another bleed on him. Ah, uh, this bandage this is not gonna go well, apparently. And we really need to move forward. Lost this uh, turn. Uh, this dude should be marked for that. But I kinda wanna do this. It should hit all three of them. There we go. That took a bit of damage, or gave a bit of damage, not much. We're really getting our ass kicked. So let's heal the party. Eh? But uh, here's how we did we pretty much undone. Could use this, but I wanna really smite this guy. Oh shit, he touched. Gonna lose his turn probably. He actually can reach the third, the third row. Okay. Uh, he, he can stress heal, but I uh, don't see the point. It's on self, so... Uh, I don't want to move anybody right now. I kind of want to chop his ass. There we go. One Destroy problem resolved. Again with his AoE. I'm gonna have to keep on the... Um... Ah, nice! Yeah, you never miss, eh? We need to really heal again. There we go. I'm not gonna give much, but it's gonna give something. We're gonna need to eat a bunch of our food, unfortunately. So, let's smite. And we missed again. Dude, you're really missing. You're, I'm starting not to like you. There we go. That was nice. Big chunk. So, he gave the now E. Great, and a lot of bleed oh my god this dude is like 82 like in our second dungeon with stress ah oh, frack could go with this though yeah let's go with this maybe we apply a bleed yeah we apply the bleed so he's dead anyways let's try to heal a bit fortunately and we did it. Got some stuff, but this is not going too well for us. Okay, so we're really far into the episode. Uh, so if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys around. Which is like the most damaged. He should go over here. And let's use the holy water. Let's see what it does. Buff, and that's it. My god. Okay, I guess that works. Okay, so see you guys next episode.